Hi guys, this is Erica, and in today's video, I'm answering a question from one of our wonderful viewers from one of my previous videos. But yeah, before we start, I just want to remind you that we are giving away a free course called How to Find Your Blogs to Manifest Anything Fast. All the details are down below. And also, if you would like to work with me one on one, I would love to help you, give you a plan of action, um, help you get results, get results fast, and um, yeah, I just I just love working with you guys. But yeah, all the details are down below as well. I still have that sale going if you're interested. But let's talk about this. Uh, this question that someone had, it was on recreating your SP um, movement and 3D reaction advice. Uh, it's a comment that was left on that video. So the question was, if everyone is manifesting, then that means everyone is on a bridge of incidents. So how can I get what I want if everyone on this earth is manifesting and is under bridge of incidents to get their manifestation? LOA doesn't make sense. Okay, so let's talk about it. So first of all, first of all, you guys know that I love making manifestation easy because it's really, really easy. But like, I think what I'm seeing here is like, we, we, we overthink things, right? We're thinking logically. And what we have to do, number one rule for manifesting and to have fun, don't think logically because this is not about logic. Logic is just the way the mind, the human mind works. So it's like, I feel like we are in this square, right? But we are not just that mind, just that square, right? We are limitless. We can have it all. Really, we're, we're infinite. And according to quantum physics, like there's like, like we are multidimensional. We can jump timelines. We can we can be whatever, whoever we want. We can change past, present, future. All we have to do is like, what are we thinking? Who are we thinking that we are now? How are we thinking that people around us? How, how are they showing up? We decide with what, with our consciousness, with our mind, remembering because we forgot remembering that we are limitless that we're just again we're just consciousness so point number one about manifesting don't overthinking don't think too logically what do you have to lose if you think outside of logic and more like you know miracles magic and i can have it all like isn't that exciting I've talked about that magic wand. Imagine if you had that magic wand and you can have whatever you want. You'll be having so much fun with that magic wand. Well, guess what? That magic wand, you do have it and it's your mind. You can have it all. So see yourself as that. Not in a 3D sense, logical way, but more like in a magical way, infinite, you know, like I can have it all. So, yeah. So, also you don't worry about like everyone else because guess what the way that i see manifesting is i see like different little bubbles or worlds right and like in my world i'm i'm the only one that decides what's going to happen because it's in my world the only thoughts the only consciousness that matters is mine now let's say my daughter right in her world that's She's the one that rules her world and she is selecting many different experiences, right? And my SP, right? Or my whoever, everyone in my life, it, they're all in their own little worlds. So that's how I see manifesting. Instead of me worrying about, right? Oh, so someone else is going to manifest me. Or let's, or I've seen this question a lot. What if like, like both people, like we both want the same SP, who's going to win? Don't worry about that. I hope this analogy helped you. Just see that in your little bubble, in your little world, you're the only one that's in control, right? So that gives me so much peace, not having to worry about what else, what else, what if someone else is manifesting the same thing or like, how am I going to go against their free will or no, in my world, I decide what happens. I'm the God of my reality. I just select what I want to experience. 
what version of me I want to experience, what version of my person, my specific person I want to experience, what type of 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 job, how much money I want to have in the bank, like whatever, right? So in our in our realities we decide, right? So don't worry about bridge of incidents and everyone else. What if like so does that make sense? That's all you have to worry about. What do I want? Because in my reality, I set the rules. I tell my stories. I select what I want to do, be or have. And that's all you have to worry about. Now, in the last video, I've talked about how I've been reading about this wonderful book from uh, Frederick Dodson, um, Parallel Universes of Self. Read it. It's, it's really easy to understand. Uh, maybe easier than you know like our our favorite Neville Goddard uh, which Neville, Neville Goddard is also freaking amazing but yeah like this guy Frederick Dodson is like he's what 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 do we call them like current uh, um, writer so he's really easy to understand but I was looking into this other book called um the Holographic Universe by Michael Talbot. And um, I think he's a physicist. So this book is more like science scientific way. I just started reading it. I don't know if I'm going to keep going. But again, I always feel like I, I led to whatever book or video or information because there's some message there for me. And all I do is I'm just grabbing things that are helping me wake up make this manifestation <laughs> fun journey easier for me and therefore like i share everything with you guys so i'm helping you guys as well but in this book again um the holographic universe by michael talbot uh he starts saying how in the movie star wars luke skywalker's adventures begins when a beam of light shoots out of the robot r2d2 and projects a miniature three-dimensional image of Princess Leia. Luke watches spellbound as the ghostly sculpture of light begs for someone named Obi-Wan Kenobi to come to her assistance. The image is a hologram, a three-dimensional picture made with the aid of a laser, and the technological magic required to make such images is remarkable. But what is even more astounding is that some scientists are beginning to believe the universe itself is kind of a giant hologram, a, splend a splendidly detailed illusion, no more or less than the image of Princess Leia that stars Luke on his quest. So put another way, let's see, but put another way, there is evidence to suggest that our world and everything in it from snowflakes to maple trees to falling stars and spinning electrons are also only ghostly images, projections from a level of reality so beyond our own. It is literally beyond both space and time. So again, this is based on quantum physics, right? So we need to start seeing the world, the universe as something magical, kind of like a video game. So start seeing yourself as literally all the thoughts and assumptions that you have, all the story, the new story that you tell yourself of having that perfect life, perfect relationship, whatever your desire is. See yourself as just consciousness and it's literally just shooting out into like a hologram. That's what the 3D is. And it can be... Like a hologram is just, it's an illusion, right? So this, this 3D is like an illusion, it's like a dream. And it's very easy to change when you understand that you're like all that, all we are is just consciousness and this is an illusion. When we think 3D terms like, oh, how am I gonna change the circumstance? No, like the circumstance, don't see that circumstance as really big, the, the, very difficult. Remind yourself that I can shift that circumstance because circumstances are easy to change because, because all they are is that they're just an illusion. They seem real, right? But I understand that it's just an illusion. It's just like a hologram. It's, it could, you can even remind yourself, it's even it's backed up by science. This is just like a video game. It's an illusion. It's a hologram. So it doesn't scare me. I can change that circumstance. So I'm just going to think, right? 
from a very different point of view, from me already having that desire, instead of looking at the circumstance, I'm going to focus on my desire. And the reflection, the 3D, the hologram is going to look, it has to match my new story, my new assumptions. That's why it's so important not to focus on the fears, the old story, the past. Focus on what version of you do you want to experience life uh, you know like what do you want to experience focus on that version of you it all starts with the mind so first starts in the mind then it projects out again kind of like a holo like like princess leia right it's just a hologram so hopefully that helped answer your question so don't worry too much about again bridges of incidents and other people manifesting and we all want the same thing no see reality your life was like in my little bubble of reality like all that all that i care about is what i want and in my in my reality i call the shots i'm the writer the the, the director the producer the everything right and again in the last video i was talking about you know realities as bowling lanes right so same was use that same analogy don't worry about what other people are doing and what if they want and they're manifesting too no it's in my bowling lane all i care about is my game my bowling lane i don't care what other people are doing in my reality my little bubble like all i care about is like what i want right and everyone is me pushed out they have to show up with the story right of them that i'm selecting the version of them that i'm selecting that's all i care about that's all i have to worry about Maybe in their own bubble, it's like they're doing something else completely different, but it doesn't matter, right? Because I'm just enjoying my experience, right? My life through these lenses, through this point of view, and that's all I care about. So again, see manifesting as a game. Have fun with it. Think like magic, right? So And don't think so literally 3D because logically because if we think logically we're gonna stay stuck in that logic right we're gonna get stuck in the logic and the circumstance and you're gonna keep relieving that same thing because that's where your focus is so the the projection right the the illusion the holographic image that we call the 3d has to match that same logical thinking that circumstance and that's it that's why we experience those patterns right when we're with let's say that in love relationships they always break up with me after two three months of being with them they just lose interest and they break up with me and that's my circumstance right so instead of like experiencing the same thing is because you were thinking logically well they always leave me and they just said they don't want to be with me and they left me like how am i gonna make them come back they say they don't want me they don't like me they hate me and we're we're stuck in the circumstance we're believing this is real we're believing that they have free will and they can do that but mm -mm. in my reality all i care about is like okay like i just i was thinking on that version of me that is not lucky in love that experiences the same thing after a couple of months they leave me but all i have to do is remind myself who i am the all i have to do is change from a version of me that has always been lucky in love relationships my love relationships always last forever whoever i want whoever i love like they they commit to me immediately and they stay with me forever if i'm not with them anymore it's because i'm the one that gets bored and leaves them right you can tell yourself that story why not and like that's all i have to do like see myself as I'm just selecting what I want and so I can change the circumstances because again, it's just an illusion. It's just a hologram and I remind myself it's an illusion. The 3D is just an illusion. The 3D is just the projection of an old story. So I don't care. Again, maybe it hurts, right? When we experience something in the 3D, we're humans, right? We have emotions. It's okay. But all we have to do is remember who we are and that if we just think from a different point of view, the, the 3D has to match that new point of view, that new story. Because I remind myself that I am just consciousness. And that's it. So, again, I hope this helped answer this question. 
so don't complicate it too much like see see yourself as remind yourself as I'm, I'm literally the god of my reality i have that magic wand i can change your circumstances no one in my reality has free will they have to show up the way that i want them to because i'm just I'm, I'm selecting a version of them that matches what I want. And I don't care. Maybe in the reality, they're doing something else, but I don't care. All I'm doing, all I'm doing is selecting the type of experience that I want to have in my life with that person or in that situation. And that's all that matters. Okay. So again, I hope this video helped you. If you want to read the book, maybe again, like I started reading it and uh, I got what I wanted. I might keep reading it, but that's who I like. I'm not a big reader, but again, sometimes I just get, I don't know, like I get this inspiration, this little voice, like, oh, click here and there. And then I find information. I'm like, whoa, this helped me wake up, right? Or like, there's always a message. And, but yeah, if you're interested, again, the name of the book, Frederick, no, 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 this is a different guy. Uh, the Holographic Universe by Michael Talbot. So, I hope or I'm intending that I answer your question. And yeah, thank you so much for liking, watching, and subscribing. I love you guys. Bye.